They brought in uh, Captain Travis, 21 years interrogator in the Army, uh, retired with honor. He came to me and said, Frank will send me to you to let you know I'm going to break you. I said, oh man, you better go on somewhere, right? You're going to get broke. I'm ready to fight now, right? And I had more skills than any inmates in there. I could tear up anything they gave me, right? Any cell they put me in, I could tear it up. The toilets and beds was bolted and welded and bolted to the floor. Mm -hmm. I tear them up. Tear up the whole, knock walls down, knock the whole wall down. Mm -hmm. And so they, uh, you cool. they uh, brought him in. So he tried all this uh, crazy stuff. Put something in my ass, kept my ass open, and they had a light shining in my ass. They don't let him sleep, throw water on him. They I, was doing this in Man, they use that, that stuff, uh, what do you call it, waterboarding. Yeah, waterboarding. They did that shit. I tricked them on that, though, because every time they go port out, I already took a deep breath, right? And I can hold my breath for a long time. I used to just practice that in the hole, just sit back and go, and see how long, it was an exercise for me, yeah. you know, so. You ain't got nothing better to do anyway. Yeah, yeah, so, to make a long story short. They were torturing y'all in prison? He died. In prison. Now, that's documented. He just got through messing with me. See, here's what gave him up. I'm in the hole. So he had a, a thing out there, any time I, I act up, Ain't nobody supposed to mess with me but him, call him. They gave him a house right across the street from the prison. So one day he came over. I was getting ready to give up this day. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's white man here done, done did some torture stuff to me, boy, and make me want to back up. For, I'm, I'm giving his credit. Yeah. But he made a mistake. He pulled out a pack of non filter Campbell cigarettes. Took one out, lit it, and his whole body jerked like that. And he stepped outside of my cell around the wall. I said, oh, something's wrong with his heart. So when he come back in, he said, you want to see me? I said, yeah, and I spit on him. I said, I'm getting ready to tear your ass up, man. I'm giving you one advice, quit this job, because I'm going to bust your heart. So I would wait, like, 3 in the morning, I act up. they go across the street, get him. When they come back up to the door, I said, I ain't backing up. Come in there and get me. So they got to open the door. We got to fight for a long time. And a lot of time I was able to bend the track at the door, bend it all the way across. That's still track. I, I take something and, and beat it and bend it. And the only way to get it open is you're going to have to cut the whole door off, right? And I'd be laying back and I'd say, y'all ain't got in yet. And, and, you know, messing with them, right? I was a... a this a thorn in they flesh, right? Mm -hmm. So they called Captain Travis. So when he come over, they put me in four points. They had, had this leg handcuffed way up here, had this leg twisted over here, had me on. It was just, I said, okay. And then I, I wait till y'all think he's asleep. I said, this is the time go off again, make him bring his ass back over here, right? It went back and forth, and then the last day, now I gave him his fair warning. I just spit on him. Well, I'm waiting on him. I'm, I'm looking out my door, waiting on him to come running through those with them shields and billy clubs. Mm -hmm. Then nothing happened, so I'm, four hours go back, then a lieutenant come through, black lieutenant. And I heard him before he got to my cell, because like I said, they always put me in the last cell. Mm -hmm. So he said, uh, means, Captain Travis died, means, Captain Travis died. And a lot of him was saying, good, he's dead, dirty, you know, all that, they was cussing. So, but I know these guards, right? I don't follow them, and, and they will kill you for real. So I said, when they bring it to me. So they, I said, who died? He said, Captain, I said, oh my God. I said, you know what, even though me and him fought the way we fought, I just love that man. I had a lot of respect for him. They said, I know you did, Fleece. Y'all really went. I hated him. 
<laughs> but I knew better at that time to arouse his guard because that was their hero, right? He mm -hmm. did. Same thing happened to Ezel, big, tall, skinny. Uh, Lieutenant Ezel, they, uh, I spit on the guard. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. But when they, he grabbed my leg shackles right here and snatched them. I'm handcuffed behind the back so my, my chin hit the ground. My face is swolled up like this. Now, when the nurse come over, see, nurses in prison are supposed to just be nurses. Uh -huh. you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you, we didn't employ you to be a guard, just a nurse, do your, your nurse duty. But when she didn't want to come and look at me, she said, you should have thought about that before you did what you did in that officer. Uh -huh. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I said, I'll be to see you. And so it took about three weeks later and she come. So I got a big old bucket of duty <laughs> waiting on her, right? So <laughs> she pushing that little it's, field. It's yeah. glass in there, it's shaving cream. Everything, this is the worst. It, this, 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 I had, I, I, I had a category. I didn't categorize the duty. I, I had the ones that was potent, not potent, real good, not that good. You know, Lizzie, but this dispatcher, this was the main bet. This is going to set you up out of here, right? Mm. So I didn't want uh, her to know that I got it. And I got a lid over it, but I, it, it, it was it was coming out. So I said, I'm going to throw it out. I said, how you doing, Lisa? I said, uh, she said, I, I said, you got some Tylenol or cold pills, please. I said, <coughs> I said, it's a nice day out there. You know, trying to throw her off, so, mm -hmm. cause she stopped me. She did like, I know she smelled something a little. Right? So I kept talking to her to get her to trust me. So when she was giving me the pills and the thing, I said, here, boosh. She turned around. <laughs> <laughs> And it was a black officer with her, Officer Moore. That was his name. Tall, thin, black guy out of, I think he's out of Paducah or somewhere. He ran. He ain't gonna get that stuff thrown on him. Mm -hmm. and, and so when I when she turned around, I took a, a cup and went in that bucket. And then I hit her on the back of her head and it went down her back and she arched her back and she threw a thing on and she started doing like it. And hey, that was hot and take your blast off. Man, make her get naked, bro. And all that stuff. And she sat on the ground. She couldn't get up. So I said, yeah, that's for your disrespect. I said, and uh, I said, you might well take the rest. I said, no, nah, I can't give you the rest of it. So I had it. I had a couple more batches. I had to fill this back up, right? So here come the girl. They running out through a sheet, through a sheet over her. And, and, they, they had to run back. I got one girl and say, Grab, he said, man, I ain't touching this shit, man. 